Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is our second lesson in the series Revising Medina Arabic, book number one. We have arrived at lesson number two. Ad Darsu Athani. Awa Darsu Thani. Lesson two, we're going to essentially discuss the concept of Dalika. So we have Hada, which was this. If I want to say that, then I use the word Dalika. Ma Dalika, what is that? ذلك نجم that is a star هذا مسجد this is a mosque وذلك بيت so ذلك the purpose of it is for what is to uh, it's a demonstrative pronoun that denotes something which is far so the masjid here is close and the house is there far and so you say هذا مسجد this is a mosque وذلك the well means and and as you can see the well is not attached to the uh, the word that precedes it but it's close to the uh, letter or, or the word that comes after it and we call this the well al-atf, the conjunction. It's conjoining this sentence with this sentence. And we'll see more of it later, inshallah. هذا مسجد وذلك بيت And that is a, a house. So this is a mosque and that is a house. هذا حصان This is a horse. وذلك حمار That is a donkey. أذلك كلب Is this a... So she's pointing or the child is pointing to the cat saying, Is it a... Is it a, a dog? لا, no. ذلك قط. ما ذلك? What is that? ذلك سرير. So on, man hadha wa man thalika. Who is this and who is that? And we've spoken about man and ma and man in the previous lesson, or in the previous uh, revision lesson. Hadha mudarrisun. This is a, as you can see here, a teacher. Wa thalika imamun. And that there is, a, is an imam, meaning the one who leads the people in the masjid, the imam of the masjid. Ma thalika, what is that? Thalika hajarun. That is a stone. Hadha sukkarun. This is sugar. Wa thalika labanun. And that is milk. So remember these new terms, put it in your notepad. Exercise for you to fill out new words: Imamun, Hajarun, Sukkarun, Labanun. So Sukkar means sugar. Laban means milk. Imam means uh, the Imam of the Masjid, right? And Hajar means the stone or stone. And so the main points to remember: there are two points, Dalika and how to use it, which means that, and the Wow. Wow means and Dalika Hisanun, wa Dalika Jamalun. مثلاً مثلاً هذا بيت وذلك حصا وذلك مسجد. This is a comma. And as you can see the wow, as the author mentioned, the word wow is written close to the following word. So it's written close to the word that comes after it, not the word that comes before it. And this is what we call a comma sign in the Arabic language. And the new vocabulary, imam, sugar, milk, and stone. And so with that, the author concluded lesson number two. هذا والله أعلم سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك شهدوا لا إله إلا أنت استغفرك وتوب إليك والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته.